All right, guys, so here's the review of the Pierre Pauling sector dial. So you're probably wondering, why is it in this McCur packaging? That's because Pierre Pauling is actually a sub-brand of McCur. So as with all McCur watches that you get, you do get a nice travel pouch. They are really good, these. And I do like the way they mix up the colours as well. They tend to make them so they match, well, in my experience, match the style of watch or like the dial colour or something. So nice little attention to detail. This one is no different. So we've got the watch in here, quickly go over what else is in here, not a lot else, but we'll go over it quickly. Brandy cleaning cloth, instruction manual, warranty card, and then the only other thing in here is this little adjustment tool. Always handy to have some of these about. Never have too many in my experience, but that's it apart from the watch. And there's a nice little suede packaging as well on the inside to help protect it. And as I say, really handy if you do want to carry around other watches and bits and pieces. But Get all this out of the way and we'll get down to the watch. And here's the actual watch. So they do quite a few different dial colour options with this one. With this particular one I've got here, they call it brown, but I'd say it's more of like a goldy kind of brown than just a straight brown, if that makes sense. If you're not keen on this one, as I say, plenty of other options available. They've got your standard colours like blues, greens, but then they've also got things like a purple one and also a salmon one. With the salmon one, that's slightly different to the rest because the centre section, as well as the outside section, both coloured in a salmon colour. With the others, it is just this outer section that is coloured, in whichever colour you choose. If you want to see more, link will be down in the description as always. But before we go into any more detail, let's go over the dimensions. So we've got a diameter of 38mm, thickness of 12.5, lug width of 20, and the all-important lug-to-lug coming in at 46 so pretty nice compact dimensions as you'd expect from this kind of style of watch and as always pretty much the way McCurr tend to do things they tend to focus on more smaller sized dressier type watches so if that's something that interests you be sure to check out some of the other McCurr reviews I've done on the channel I'll probably leave a link down in the description I've also got playlists and I've also got this one over here which is one of the ones I've reviewed really nice one this this one's actually got a rose gold color dial so if you want to check that one out, I'll leave a link to that for you too. But getting back to this one, let's get a zoom in on the dial and check it out in more detail. So we've got a fully printed dial, nothing applied. And as I said earlier, we've got that Pierre Paulin brand in there. Although this is made by McCur, that's just a sub brand they have. When it comes to the rest of the dial, you can see we've got that sub dial down at the six o'clock, which has actually got a what I think is a blued hand. Because certain angles it will look more or less black, then you get it on the right angle. It does have that nice metallic blue to it, which leads me to think it is actually blued. With the other hands, they are just finished in silver. No blued sections or anything. I think this is another thing that is slightly different with the salmon version. As far as I can tell from the pictures, that also has blued hour and minute hands as well. But obviously I can't comment on that directly because I've only checked out this version. So if you're interested in that particular one, perhaps you want to check out some of the reviews, see if anyone's reviewed that one. Another interesting little detail, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, is at the bottom there. You've got that, what looks like HA or HR. Not entirely sure what that's for, but you don't really see that when you're wearing the watch either way. If anyone does know what that is though, Please do let me know down in the comments, would be interested to know. And it's a fairly plain dial, broken up into a couple of sections, as I said earlier, hence the name, that sector dial. And then we've got the 12, 3, 6 and 9, obviously with the 6 cut off slightly with that sub dial. This is one of the other minor little gripes I'd have with this. If it was up to me, I'd probably get rid of that indice altogether and just have the sub dial there. Not that it's cut off that much doesn't really need to be there to be honest but other than that pretty simple dial but nicely done and I do like those hands as well nice high polish on them do catch the light nicely and you probably noticed before as well we've got a little bit of detailing on that sub dial so let's zoom back out and take a look at the rest of it So 
when it comes to the case finishing, we've got a fully brushed case, nothing polished really. You can also see we've got drill lugs there, which is always nice. Got a signed crown, I'm not entirely sure what that logo is there, but it's signed. And you can also see we've got that really nice domed crystal. We'll be checking that in a little bit if that is sapphire. When it comes to the strap, this is a really nice standard strap that comes with this actually. So it's a suede style strap. When it comes to the hardware, it's unsigned, but it is just polished. I think I probably would have preferred it if it was brushed to match the case, but not too big a deal. And got the McCurr branding on there. And you can also see it's actually quick release. So always good to see. So if you're doing a swap out the straps, it'll be really easy with the quick release on this and also the drilled lugs if you've got other straps that aren't quick release. When it comes to the case pack, again, fully brushed, got that radial kind of finish. Then we've got this lion. I'm not entirely sure where this comes from, but it does look good. Nicely done. And then just designed and made McCurr watch group. So not overly cluttered on the back. And it is a screw down case pack as well. And as you'd expect, genuine leather. But it is really soft, really supple. No breaking period needed at all. So I've not taken it off this strap and wearing it on this. Do really like it. So now let's check out if it is actually sapphire crystal or not. Using the trusty down select too. And no, we have just got mineral crystal on this one. But to be fair, they do say that on the listing. And that tends to be the case with a lot of McCurr watches. So, kind of expected. Obviously, with the style of watch, we haven't got any loom on this, so we're not going to be doing a loom shot. So, let's move on to the movement. And again, this is one of the other little minor gripes I've with McCurr. On their listings, they never really specify what the movement is they use in their watches. And this one is the same. So what I do know about it, it's a mechanical hand wind only movement, so no rotor, so you will have to wind it, it won't wind itself. So that might put some people off, I personally don't mind it, because it helps keep that case pretty slim, again, although it is added quite a bit with that bone crystal, but otherwise it's fairly slim. And again, that's something the curve tend to do with their watches, a lot of them tend to be mechanical. So other details I know about this, it's got a beat rate of 21,600. It doesn't hack, which I'll show you in a second. And the power reserve is about 35 hours. So I'll show you in action. So with the crown, it's just a push-pull crown. It's got the one position. So you can see the second hand is still going. So we don't have hacking. And then we can just change the time. Pop it back in. We've got hand winding, as you'd expect, with it being mechanical only. And that will tighten up when it gets toward being fully charged. So you'll know when to back off and just not overwind it. So all that's left to do now is show you what it's like on wrist, and then we'll wrap this up. So this is what it looks like on my 7 inch wrist. And as you'd expect, with those dimensions, it wears really nicely. There's not a great deal of curvature to that case, but there's enough. And as I say, with those dimensions, it's not really too big a deal either way. It does wear nicely. And that domed crystal does add a little bit of distortion, which I do like. You know, I'm a sucker for a domed crystal. And you'll also know if you've been watching the channel for a while, that I'm pretty partial to a nice minimalist star watch. And this one is no exception. I do really like this one. And I do really like this strap as well. As I say, suede finish, really soft, really supple, conforms to wrist really nicely. I think it suits the watch well. And in terms of issues with this, not a great deal. As I mentioned earlier, if it was up to me, I'd just get rid of this six indice down at the bottom completely because you don't really need it there. There's that little of it left. Not a lot of point. And um, other than that, sapphire crystal would have been nice. But that's pretty much it. It's a really nice watch. Those two minor issues, well, I guess you could say one of them's a minor issue. Depends whether you think having Sapphire at this kind of price is a major issue or not. 
for me, I think it's it's not too bad. Obviously, ideally, Sapphire would have been better, but it's not a deal breaker, I don't think. But let me know down in the comments if that is a deal breaker for you. But that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.